What's up friends, family, hater army, welcome back to another sneaker review. I know this is the first time you're seeing the in-depth version of this, but for me it feels like a long time coming because it's my third attempt filming. The camera was playing up, Final Cut Pro was playing up, but here we go. Third time round, hopefully it works. Before we unbox these Vapormax Flyknit 2s, make sure to hit subscribe. I'm planning to reveal the brand new 10 pairs of sneakers I bought over the next few weeks. That's right, I bought another 10 pairs of sneakers. Just to review specifically for all of you, I appreciate you all, so I hope you enjoy the new content coming your way. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on those. Without further ado, Let's unbox these and let's discuss the Flyknit 2s that I managed to get on sale for £120. So, the Nike Air Vapor Max Flyknit 3 is out later this month. So, the Flyknit 2 Vapor Max is on sale for £120. Here we have the Team Red, Obsidian, Blue and Wheat coloured Vapor Max Flyknit 2. I love the array of colours. If you, if you look at the traditional... Um, air cushion bubble that is repeated amongst the run utilities, the Vapormax Plus, the Flyknit 1s and 2s, and Vapormax 2019, the air cushion hasn't changed. On this particular colorway, we have a violet purple color on the air cushion with a slight element of transparency, which is super cool. I love the black heel. That is separate from the Flyknit material on the front. That is a more structured material and that's for comfort and more stability on the heel of the shoe. We have a reflective badge on the heel of the shoe also. That can be particularly useful if you're running outdoors. So in terms of the colors, I honestly love how the navy obsidian blue you know, really works well with the team red on the upper midsole. Uh, it's a beautiful Flyknit shape all over the shoe. Um, the Flyknit 3 Vapormax will move away from this particular design of the Flyknit and move towards more parallel lines, shooting from the toe all the way back to the heel. Now, also, um, as you can see, this Nike swoosh is more towards the heel, so in the new release of the Vapormax Flyknit 3, the swoosh will move towards the left a bit more and be placed more in the center. So, I honestly love the array of colors. I like the purple violet air cushion bubble. This is a beautiful blue and it complements the team red on top so well. The only disappointment is the swoosh color. The wheat color is super boring. I believe gold would have been so much more stunning. Nonetheless, uh, I don't think we pay too much attention to the swoosh um, if we have these on foot. Um, it's only when you look very close that it seems to be more of a wheat colour, but from afar it does almost look like gold. If we look on the other side of the shoe, this Nike swoosh is actually in gold. So it's disappointing that they didn't repeat it with the big swoosh. I think that would have been super cool and would have standed out a lot more. Wheat is just such a random colour for a, such a beautiful shoe. Wheat is just like some dead cereal like Bran Flakes or something. Like, um, it's just like, why would you even bother? I love the rest of the colours on the shoe. The only disappointment is the Nike swoosh. So, in terms of this silhouette, the silhouette, this silhouette is very slim fit. And I'll try them on foot in a second. Um, even the cat is interested in these. Say what's up to everybody on YouTube. So, um, it has a very snug fit. If you're an athlete, I recommend staying true to size because initially they'll feel a bit tight, but they'll loosen up and the snug fit is very good for performance for all the athletes out there. I previously run in Nike Vive Max Flyknit 2 and they're very comfortable to run in. This um, bubble on the base of the shoe provided with the stability of the snug fit on the upper midsole uh, allows you to run very, very efficiently and effectively. Um, however, if you're going for lifestyle and more aesthetics, then I do recommend going half a size up because it can feel a little tight if you're not um, playing a sport. So if you just want to relax, um, show off the cool colors and this modern day classic silhouette then I recommend going half a size up 
There's one thing left to do and that's try them on for and we're about to do that right now. So initially when you try these on they will feel tight and narrow however give them an hour or two and they will loosen up and feel more comfortable. You do break into these shoes over time. These are definitely head turning silhouette captivating and will capture a lot of attention. £120 is a bargain for these so if you do want to get a pair of these get them while you can a lot of colorways are being sold out this is currently available the mango fly knit to vapor max is available uh, some of the other colorways have been sold out so uh, like i said before if if you are a performance athlete you want to stay true to size they will you know you'll break into them however if you're solely using these for aesthetics and lifestyle then you might want to go half size up just for extra room inside the sneaker I'm disappointed with the wheat swoosh. It's putting me off quite a lot. I do like the rest of the colorway. Um, I'm not sure whether to hold on to these and paint the swoosh with an acrylic paint in like gold, which I have previously done with other sneakers. I'm not sure whether to do that or just return them and hold on for the Nike Air Vapor Max Flyknit 3. Let me know your comments below. Are you going to get a pair of these or will you wait for the Nike Air Vapor Max Flyknit 3 later this month? Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know your comments down below. Would you rock a pair of these? Are you going to go to Nike.com and get a pair for £120? The cheapest flying it to Vapor Max I've ever bought, which is super cool. And I'm really in like I'm anticipating the release of the flying it three so much. I'm so excited. This is my current favorite silhouette, probably my favorite sneaker silhouette of all time. So hopefully, the Nike Vapor Max. Flying it 3 is an improvement, an evolution, and not a letdown. So I'm looking forward to those. Can't wait to review those. Make sure to subscribe. Appreciate everyone who regularly comments. I know it's the same comments, so I just want to say thank you. I appreciate you all. Have an incredible week ahead. Look forward to the 10 brand new sneakers I bought. I'll be reviewing those over the next couple weeks. Appreciate you all, and until next time, peace and love.